Hello, in this video, I would like to explain how you can use the OpenAI Node.js library and run chat, um, simulate chat GBT in your local um, IDE using Node.js code. So basically, what you need to do is basically, you need to have, first of all, an OpenAI API key. You can get this by going to platform.openai.com and then signing up and then you can go to view API keys by clicking on your name, press view API keys, and then you can press create new secret key. And this will let you make a new secret key uh, for your um, application. So for example, let's make it um, Node.js. It can be any name you want. And now it will give you this key, which you should copy and um, go to ID. First of all, let's make a new project real quick. So press open. Um, Whatever you want, what I usually like to do is go um, to a folder and just make a new folder for it. Um, let's say Node.js OpenAI. And now you have a fresh folder you can code in. First of all, make a new file called .n. And let's store the OpenAI API key in here. So do OpenAI API key equals and then paste that API key you got from that window. Now, once that's done, Let's initialize our Node.js project. Now, before you do this, make sure you have um, a Node.js installed. So to do that, just go to Node.js.org, just install it. Pretty simple. Um, once you install that, you can now use npm and do npm um, init. And this will um, set you up to initialize a new Node.js project. If you can just keep pressing enter, and this will give you a package.json file. Now, once that's done, you can do npm i. Okay, wait, I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, so you can do npm i open ai. And this will install the official open ai package um, in npm. And this is node package manager. And now, once that's installed, what you can do is um, first of all, make a new file. Um, call it index.js and in this file um you can start using your know, OpenAI instance. Now first of all you want to require and this that means import the OpenAI class. So to do that the const OpenAI I'll make this a bit bigger maybe it's too big. I don't know. Right, you can do const a OpenAI equals require OpenAI dot open AI. And make sure you got the indentation, I mean the capitalization correct. Once you imported that, you can now create a new instance of that class by doing const open AI equals new open AI. Now normally you want to put your API key as a program here, but since we already put it in our dot n file, I think we should be good. Uh so make sure you're using this exact same name because if you look here uh, it will actually default to classes dot end. Actually, I think we need to do one thing. Actually, um, we need to actually read this dot end file. To do that, actually install another package called dot end. This is a very popular popular project. Um, package it has like twenty eight million weekly downloads, and basically it loads um stuff from this dot end file. So how you use this is at the top. Just put a line called require.end.config and this will load this .end file and now that our OpenAI is ready to go um, we can use it and start calling functions to do a sync function main I even miss call the same thing I'm just um, making a simple template here um, so you can use asynchronous functions so in here we want to do await OpenAI dot chat dot completions dot create and this is going to create a new chat completion you can refer to this documentation as well um but what we're doing here is we can also save this to a variable um and in this first of all we want to put the model um let's use gpt 3.5 turbo um it'll actually give you a nice list of models here but i'm just going to use this model um and then i want to put um, and put a messages array, and a messages array contains basically three things. Uh, first, you can put 
Well, in, it can contain three things. So it's basically a list of messages. And basically, for the message, there's two things. There's a role. The role can either be assistant, um, system, or user. Function is for function calling. That's a different video. I'll get to that in a different video. But, um, say we want, um, a system prompt. A system prompt is like a guiding prompt for the model. So, let's say, like, content, and say, you are a kind, friendly chatbot. And it's just to guide the chatbot on how to respond. Now, we can add in a user message. This is a message that a user is sending. Now, if you're, if you're making, like, a chatbot app, you want to pass this, or pass whatever the user types as a low user message. So, you can say, hello, what's your name? I guess you are, um, call it, just whatever, um, you can call it whatever, and it'll, it should say that, based on the system prompt. Um, and then, there's the third option, which is, um, assistant. So if you have a long conversation, you can indicate, um, the previous responses said by the AI using a role assistant, like this. But, in this case, the next message is going to be an assistant generated. So, we can just leave it like this. There's also a max tokens, but uh, that lets you limit the number of tokens in a response. But I think we should be good with the default for now. So now, let's log, see what we actually get. So, the response will be response. Um, it, it, it'll be in here, but I'll, show, I'll just show you how the response looks. So, to run this, what you want to do is type node dot. And that just means the index file. And running this it will give us a new response that is a type of chat.completion, a, a chat completion, basically. And to get the actual content it gave you, what you have to do is do response. Uh, first of all, you can see the usage as well, how many tokens were in the response and stuff. Um, a lot of useful stats here. But what we're looking for, basically, is the response, that choices, and the first, the zero choice, basically, and the message, and the content of that message. This is the generation um, that's given by the AI. So you can do node dot again. Uh, look at this. You'll see, hello, my name is Kolegata Mea. How can I assist you today? And this is the response given by OpenAI. And you can use this response in your apps. Um, and yeah, that's how you use OpenAI API in your app. Thank you.